Meantime, a man who was once convicted of killing the chief of Oregon's prisons no longer has the shadow of the law trailing close behind. Frank Gable has been released from all supervision. In 1990, Gable was sentenced to life in prison without parole for killing Michael Frankie the year before. Frankie was stabbed to death on the grounds of the Oregon State Hospital in the early evening hours. Nobody saw the attack and the murder weapon was never found. Four years ago, a judge threw out Gable's conviction. He was released from prison but remained under federal supervision with the possibility of the state of Oregon retrying him for the crime. Until now. In a ruling yesterday, Judge John Acosta ordered Gable's unconditional release and wrote, the state of Oregon and any subdivision or county thereof is hereafter barred from rearresting, reindicting, or retrying petitioner for the murder of Michael Frankie. So what happened to allow Gable to be freed in the first place back in 2019? Well, the U.S. Court of Appeals agreed with a lower court ruling that no reasonable juror would have convicted Gable in light of that new evidence. And what was that evidence? Well, state investigators used widely discredited polygraph and interrogation techniques as a psychological club to get statements from others against Gable. And that the trial court was wrong to not allow the evidence that another man had confessed multiple times to the murder and had shared details of the crime that were not publicly known. And last but not least, nearly all witnesses from Gable's original trial recanted. KGW interviewed Gable in 1990 before he was arrested for the murder. He happened to be in prison at the time for a different crime. Even then, he said he didn't do it. I believe that I walked into a complicated drug ring and really don't know how complicated it was until now. And you think maybe that drug ring had something to do with Frankie's murder? I believe so, yeah. I personally could never take a, you know, see myself taking a human life. You know, I've been so scared, and, you know, each day you don't know if you're getting out in 52 days or if you're gonna get put to death penalty for a crime you didn't commit. You know, so, it's, yeah, I'm scared, you know. You more, just... more scared than I've ever been in my life. One of the people pushing to free Gable was the brother of the killed prisons director, Michael Frankie. In 2019, Kevin Frankie told us this case had two victims, his brother and Frank Gable, who spent nearly 30 years in prison. But the fear of arrest and a new trial is gone now for Frank Gable. He's now 63 years old and lives in Kansas with his wife, according to the Oregonian. They report that Gable works for a concrete contractor and has established himself in the community.